So Elden Ring 1.04 just came out the other day, and I'm gonna test all the rune farms that I know of in this game to see if they still work. Let's start with the oldest rune farm of them all, the Boulder Farm. If you don't know the Boulder Farm, it's at Lena's Rise, way over here in Kaled. You can get to here quickly if you go over to the Third Church of Marika. There's a sending gate over here in this pond. It'll take you up to the Bestial Sanctum. You can head down here. Go across the bridge right here, just make sure to change it to daytime because there's a nice cavalry regarding that, and you get to Lena's Rise if you didn't know about this one. Go to that grace, and then head to the west down this hill. There's a boulder that will spawn down here, and you will run the boulder off the ledge. So you go down here, this appears, and then you go over here, and then spin your camera, stare at the boulder. You stare at the boulder as it dies, and it gave me 2,300 runes. So what you do is immediately fast travel back to Lena's Rise. That'll reset the area. And then as soon as you load in, you'll immediately get back on your horse and you'll go do it again and again and again. This was supposed to give 350,000 runes per hour with the golden scarab equipped, and it looks like it still works in 1.04. We'll get to the crazier rune farms in just a second after I check one like this, which was really an outdated one at the Impassable Great Bridge. There's an AFK rune farm for 50,000 runes an hour, which is not very great, but I am curious if it still works. So you would go to the Impassable Great Bridge, you'd run over here till you hear a guy blow a horn. You just trust, you just go there. Guy blows the horn, and then you will run back over to here, and then wait by the grace, and off in the distance, a bunch of enemies will fight each other, and when they die, you get runes. And he just gave me runes. Generally, you would have to reset about every three to five minutes. So it was an okay AFK rune farm, but it's definitely an outdated one. I just wanted to give it a check. It does work in 1.04. But speaking of AFK rune farms, let's look at the better one. I don't remember if I've ever even posted about this on my YouTube or not. It's at War Dead Catacombs after you beat Radon. Once you can go here, you will run down these stairs, and there's kind of an ideal way to do this. So you go into here, and all these guys are fighting, and they will give you runes when they die, assuming it hasn't been patched in some way. So you go to the right, you drop down over here, and then you'll run over through here, Come back up these stairs. This is kind of like the optimal way to do it from what I tested. Then you're gonna run over here and try to get through here without getting hit by something or getting chased. And then you're gonna run all the way down here. Make sure you go pretty far down here so they don't find you. And then you would just go AFK here while they all fight to the death. Now this one gave a lot more runes. I actually don't remember. I think it was like 250,000 runes an hour or something like that, 300,000. I don't know, it was a lot of runes per hour. Um, just going AFK basically. And the cycles for this were like, every five minutes you would have to go reset it. So after like, I don't know, three to seven minutes, something like that, you would uh, run back to the War Dead Catacombs Grace, sit down, stand back up and come back. And then you'd get your runes. It's really one of those ones for like, you need to take a break for five minutes and then you do this, or you have something else you're doing, you tab out of the game. Or if you're on like a console, you just like playing on your phone, doing something else and then you just check in every five minutes and repeat. All right, so that one died. He gave me 3,700 runes. So this one definitely still works in 1.04. Again, I'm not sure the amount per hour. It might be 100,000, might be 200,000. It's better than the other one though. I think this is the best AFK rune farm in the game. I don't remember if anyone's found anyone be any better AFK rune farms yet. All right, so we are working our way up the chain now. We're at one that's 450,000 runes per hour, I think. Fort Ferreth. This one can be done kind of early or late game, whatever. I don't know why you do it late game, though. Uh, with Sword Knight and Flame, but you can probably find another weapon to do it with. And how much you get power depends on the, like, how strong your Sword Knight and Flame is. I could probably get 500,000 hour with this. But there's these gargoyles in here. When they flip right side up, then you charge the Sword Knight and Flame. They fall right into it. And you'll hit that one. And then you'll hit this one. And then you'll go over here to this one. And things can go bad sometimes with this if you don't do it right, but... More or less, it'll be something like this. And then they changed it a little bit, so I think it would need a little bit of rerouting. But uh, it looks like it's still doable. It might just need to be rerouted a little bit because they, I don't know, they changed the position of some of these guys by a little bit. So that's kind of weird, but but it can work. So then you would finish this one over here. Wait for him to crawl far enough over that you can hit him. Finish him. Okay, that was weird. It happens sometimes with these guys. So you'll have to find a way to route this to where none of this stupid stuff happens and then go over to this one and then finish that one. Oh, um, okay. And finish that one. And then immediately you would just go back to the side of grace like that and you would do it again. So it looks like it kind of still works. It definitely needs to be rerouted because as weird as it is, 
they changed the like the position of some of those and they changed like the way they aggro a little bit and stuff there's definitely a few changes so i think it works again it just it just needs to be tweaked a little bit so the original video i have is not going to be perfectly accurate because again it needs to be rerouted but generally speaking the gargoyle farm at fort ferreth still works in 1.04 and now it's time to up the ante a little bit more. We got a rune farm that I think was 2.3 million runes per hour. This is up at Halig Tree. This is a much later game rune farm for you to do. I have a video about this one. And what you'll do is you'll go to this Halig Tree town side of Grace. You'll head out to the northwest. And there's a certain kind of pattern, which I have a feeling random parts of it have changed, just like the other one. So it was charge cast on that guy. Also, the Sword of Night and Flame got nerfed. So... Not sure that it will still work or not. So you hit those two, and then you go up like this, and you'd obviously be trying to do it faster than this. You'd want to go as fast as you possibly can, but I'm just kind of taking my time to make sure that it just works. So these guys, uh, I wonder if the one, yeah, the one still fell. So we get these. Um, I whiffed on accident because I wasn't paying attention. And then there's that guy over there that Looks like he'd probably work the same. I'm not really gonna test him, but we would also kill him in the ideal rune farm and Then we go down to here and if you go over here to the northeast There's the big cluster in this farm. It's like the best part of the farm and you go right here Get all those ones Then you're gonna head back over to here and check to make sure that you have enough FP I'm just gonna pop one just in case, but I definitely don't need it drop here and watch out for that head over to here by this ledge, and then aim this to where you hopefully get all of them. Uh, where you want to aim is at this door, like, uh, let me see if I can swap to, I don't have anything with me. Right where my head's looking, at the very top of the character's head, you want to aim somewhere around that height in order to get the flame correct to hit all those. And then after that, you would just run back to the start and then reset. So this one definitely still works. So that's going to be around 2 to 2.5 million runes per hour. And it's an okay farm. But we got some better ones to look at. So let's go to the next one. That one still works in 1.04. Alright, the next one is kind of like a mirror of that one. It's a similar amount. 2 million to 2.5 million. Maybe actually, I think it could actually go a little bit higher if you route it just right. There's, there's a lot of options to route this next one. So the prayer room up in Halig Tree. And you head out to the north. Well, actually, you want to reset first. Always make sure you do a fresh reset or else the enemies are in weird spots. So you immediately get up and go. And then right down here is a guy just hanging out. And you want to get right behind... Okay, well that works too. Okay, well this is not as fast as you would want. But, whatever. And then you blast these guys ideally. It's this, this one, the one reason I never did, I never made a video on this one because it's a little inconsistent feeling. But, you would kill all those guys. Then you would go here and you would drop off to right here. And then you would go here, and you would just drop to right here. And then you would use the flame. Hopefully get all three of those. And then blast this guy probably twice, depending on how strong your Sword Knight Flame is, because he actually tries to block it. Then you come into here. You kill these guys. And then you go to this last one, and you kill him. And then you... Oh my gosh, I'm zoomed out. We immediately go to the prayer room after that. And that cycle was comparable to the other one, so that's like an alternate one, and it looks like it definitely still works in 1.04. So that's another rune farm that you could do in 1.04. Alright, next up is the third fastest rune farm in the game, sort of. I mean, if you don't count duping. And this one is underground at the Palace Approach Ledge Road, side of Grace. You can get here kind of early game or late game. There's different ways to get here. I've talked about in other videos. I'll try to link those somewhere in the description, I guess, if you don't know how to get here. And this is Dynasty Mausoleum, but this is the side of grace right here. So what you'll do is you'll reset this immediately. Like, you want to get right off a of reset. And then you'll go over to here. And then aim down and shoot at this bird. And if you hit him, he'll go like that. Ooh, he doesn't want to come off the ledge. I wonder if they changed him. We're going to have to test him a little bit. If for some reason, this guy, every time there's a patch, he seems to change a little bit. And I have to readjust how I farm him. Uh, on 1.03, going from right here seemed to work the best. Okay, so that still works. It might have just been a fluke. A very rare fluke. I rarely ever have that one happen on that first one. So what you'll do is that you immediately sit down. I'll explain this in more detail now on this one. So if he comes off, the second you see his wings come up, you can just sprint away and go sit down. When you see him raise his wings up into the air, then your timing is good enough that you can just reset. And doing this ideally 
if you if you never missed, because I hear I am missing random hit shots. If you never missed, then and you did it perfectly, it's close to five million runes per hour. If you have gold pickled foul feet going, and you have the gold scarab equipped, which if you don't know where to get the gold scarab, by the way, if you didn't already know this, gold scarab can be found over at the uh, abandoned cave in Kaled. There's like a ledge here, and you just jump across the ravine over to a ledge here with the abandoned cave. Go beat that place, and you'll get the golden scare. But the bird farm, the, the uh, crazy 4.5 to 5 million runes per hour bird farm at, near Dynasty Mausoleum still works in 1.04. And next up is the dragon. This one is the second best rune farm in the game, I think. Oh, I haven't kept up with in the last few weeks. And this one will get you 5 to 6 million runes per hour, maybe a little bit more depending on if you find some faster way to kill this guy. But this big old dragon here, if you haven't killed him yet, he's over at Fort Ferris. Or do New Game Plus and then do it. You'll get even more runes per hour, a lot more. And you'll need a few incantations in order to do this. So in order to do this, you will need... Blood Flame Blade, Swarm of Flies, and Fire's Deadly Sin. Once you get those, assuming these still work, which these may not work now after the patch, we're going to find out. What you will do is, again, you'll go to Fort Ferrith, you'll immediately get on your horse, you'll run over here. I'm going to do this slower because I haven't done it in a while. Let's make sure we get the technique right. And then you'll go over to him, and you will cast Blood Flame Blade. Then you'll cast Fire's Deadly Sin. Now you stand next to him, and let's see if they patched it or not. This used to proc bleed. Okay, so they, they did not patch this, so that still procs bleed. And then you'll also, while that's bleeding him, you will spam Swarm of Flies on him as well to speed up the process. But they did nerf Swarm of Flies. So this might not get 6 million runes per hour anymore. It might get more like 5.5 uh, .5 or something. Because it looks like they didn't nerf it too hard. They did nerf it, but it doesn't look too bad. So maybe as low as... It's, it's comparable to the bird now, but it's still probably faster if you do it right. So you'll do this until you think you've got enough bleed on him to kill him. Or just wait for Fire's Deadly Sin to finish him. Once he dies, you immediately get on the horse. And you run back over to here and sit down, and if you do it within like 10 seconds, I think it was, you can sit down, get up, he just gave me the runes, and he's still alive. I think he gave, was it 60,000, 70,000, whatever it is, and you can do this with a gold scarab and a gold pickle foul foot at the same time in order to get the maximum number of runes from this, so it looks like, at least with that technique for killing him, it's a little bit nerfed, so I'm thinking 5.5 million runes per hour instead of 6, maybe as low as 5. But uh, from my personal experience, this one's way more chill to do than the bird one. A lot of people think like that you think that the bird one sounds way easier, but the bird one's a lot more effort because you have to constantly aim and look and shoot and aim and move and look at this one's like AFK mode basically once you get into the rhythm of it. If you accidentally kill him though, then you'll have to wait till New Game Plus to kill him or, or you can also just make a backup save if you know how before you start doing this to him just in case you mess it up. Uh, but yeah, so this one still works. The Grail the Dragon farm by Fort Ferrith for 6 million, 5 million runes per hour still works in 1.04. Also, if you wanted to know where Fire's Deadly Sin is or any of those other incantations, I'll try to remember to link them in the description of this video below the first paragraph. But the last one, which is, I think, the fastest rune farm in the game other than duping, is this one. It's also at Palace Approach Ledge Road. You have to beat the game in order to do this one, and there's a sword that you get by using the Remembrance from the final boss. I don't have that sword. My backup save that had that sword, I don't know where it is. So I can't exactly test it, but I don't... I didn't see anything in the patch notes about why it wouldn't work. You just go here, you use that ability, it kills all these guys, you reset, and you do it over and over and over again. And it gives like, I know, without New Game Plus, it gives like 12 million runes an hour or something. In theory, it should work. I just don't have the backup save anymore to test it. But uh, as far as I can tell, every single rune farm still works. So yes, you can do every rune farm that I've posted about and even ones I showed you that I hadn't even posted about, they all still work in Elden Ring 1.04.